Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a part, even if it's a SKU. So when I say a SKU, I'm referring to a part that was from a assembly model that probably has a different origin, maybe one that's not on the part. It's at a different angle on different planes. It could even come from a translated file where in the originating CAD system, it was designed on a different plane completely. So for whatever reason, I have a part that is incorrectly set up for my purposes. You can see here in the bottom left corner here, that's the SolidWorks coordinate system there with the orientations of X, Y, and Z. If you take a look at my part, it defaulted to having a coordinate system in that same direction with the origin off the part. So the way this is now, I can't actually program off that coordinate system. And in terms of my stock definition, it is defining a bounding box off that coordinate system as well, uh, which again, can't really use that not really useful for me. So how do we correct this? Well, start by going to the coordinate system. And inside the coordinate system, the default method is user defined, which means it's just asking me for an origin, an X direction, a Y direction, and a Z direction. If I were to try to use bounding box around the part or the stock, it's basically still going to be in the direction of the SolidWorks coordinate system. So it's not useful to me. So I'm going to stick with using the, the entity. I'll go over to my part and I'll just choose a vertice on my entity, uh, on, my, on my model that basically works as an origin. So I'll just click there. You can see the X and the Y and the Z are still in the same direction as SolidWorks. So when I go over to the axis section here, I can just choose a line as my X axis. You can choose a line or a face. So to align my Y axis, I'll just click on this face here. The Y axis will then be positive perpendicular to that face. The X direction is in the wrong direction. I could just flip this around and then I have my X, Y, and Z, or I could just continue to do what I'm doing here and just finish up by saying this face here represents the perpendicular direction for my Z axis. So now I have X, Y, and Z in the correct direction using an origin that makes sense for the way I want to set up this part. Click the green check mark. If I go to the stock definition, I can still use the bounding box definition, but I'll actually relate it to my fixture coordinate system, the one that I just defined. So as soon as I make that change, you can, st you can see that the bounding box is still uh, zero inches away from each face, but now it's referencing my coordinate system. So now all that will work for my programming. If you have a part that doesn't have any sharp edges or flat faces, it doesn't have anything you can choose for an entity for your, your origin, um, that's not an issue. All you have to do is just go back into the, your SolidWorks feature tree over here and you can use a sketch. So I've actually already created a sketch here. And you can see in that sketch, I have two lines and each line has vertices. That's all I need to define a coordinate system. I can just go back into CamWorks, double click on my coordinate system, and I'll just correct this one to this new coordinate system I like to define there. So my X direction can be this one. My Y is this one. As soon as you have X and Y, by the right-hand rule, you can actually just define z, uh, z in that direction. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure that I flip my y direction like that. X and y are in that direction, which means z is pointing up. So really, it just means you, need, you just need to sketch those two lines in a plane, in a direction that would make sense for your setup. Okay, and then once again, you can see that the bounding box is still referencing that coordinate system. Any questions on this or anything else? please give us a call at the main tech line found on our website. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.